Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change a drawer glide kit on your range. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we'll start by pulling the drawer completely out of the range. Pull it out until it comes up against the stop. Lift up on it. And then pull it the rest of the way out. Now we'll set that on a suitable work surface. We can change out the two glides on the bottom of that. Now on the body of the oven, we'll remove these two guides at the front. Simply remove the containing screw. Now with that screw removed, there is still a little arrowhead fastener that attaches that to that opening. You may or may not be able to get at that with a screwdriver or a pair of needle nose pliers from behind. And if you can't, you can simply pry it upward and then we can unhook the top of it. That will probably break that little clip, but it's just to position it anyways. And then you can lift it out. We'll discard the old one. We'll simply take our new one. We'll line up that tab at the top with a little T-shaped hole in that opening. Line up that arrowhead fastener, press it into place, and then secure it with the screw. And then we'll just repeat that procedure for the other side. Now the new drawer glide may appear different than the original, but it is designed to fit your model. If the old one's still intact, we need to remove that. So we'll reach underneath and just grasp the body of it so we can pull it towards us. And then we'll squeeze that arrowhead fastener with a pair of needle nose pliers. pop out of there and discard the old one. Now with the new one, we'll line it up so that the opening for the glide is facing away from the drawer. We'll position that underneath so that that square protrusion fits up through the opening in the bottom of the drawer. Now we're holding it flush to the bottom of the drawer. We're going to push it towards the center. And that will line up a little locating pin. Press it firmly into place and that will cut into that pin and lock it into position. So we'll repeat that procedure for the other side and then we can put the drawer back into the range. Now when reinstalling that drawer, we wanna make sure that we engage these rear glides properly. There's fairly wide opening facing the outside that's going to drop down onto this flattened portion at the front. And we need to make sure that it engages the raised lip on that track. So we'll position it in the opening squarely. Make sure it drops down flush. That should also line up the top edge of that drawer to those top slides. So we'll just lift that up slightly, push it past the stop that is built into that drawer. Press it all the way back. And your repair is complete.